So spring football is back and the return of the USFL after being defunct since, I believe, 1985. They are back in 2022 and they're playing all of their games right here in Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, but they now have their first controversy, scandal, however you want to call it. Uh, running back Davion Smith from the Pittsburgh Maulers was cut from the team on United uh, by football, which is the USFL's version of NFL's Hard Knocks. It's like that. It's behind the scenes, like a reality show, but they're showing, you know, everything that goes on with training and all that good stuff. But he was let go on an episode, and the Pittsburgh Maulers released uh, not only the video, but uh, a statement, and it reads... On the first episode of United by Football, the weekly USFL all-access docuseries on Fox, Davion Smith was shown on camera being cut from our team by Coach Kirby Wilson. The show captures hundreds of hours of film with the intent of providing transparency to fans, but unfortunately, much of the context was left out of this moment. Smith had violated three team rules in a 24-hour span, and in this particular incident, disrespected a cafeteria worker, which wasn't captured on camera. Smith has subsequently reached out directly to Coach Wilson to apologize and ask to be reinstated to the Maulers roster. Now, what's got this thing trending is the fact that, number one, they said in this uh, quote that they capture hundreds of hours of film. But this incident, for some reason, they don't have. That's got a lot of people turning up their ears like, Err? Uh, the second thing that's got people kind of puzzled is the fact that uh, Davion Smith, the running back, he says, listen, I didn't cuss anybody out. I didn't get disrespectful to anybody. He details the whole incident on the show. Quick YouTube search and you can actually watch it. But he says that uh, they were serving chicken salad. And he said, well, I don't eat chicken salad. Now, and somebody walked in with a pizza. So he says, can I have a pizza? He was told no. According to him, he says that's the end of the incident. And now people are saying, okay, even if he did ask for pizza, if he didn't cuss or cost anybody, is that worth losing your job over? And he was visibly shaking by losing the job and losing this great opportunity to play football again. So it's just going on and on. And he released a series of tweets after the Pittsburgh Maulers release uh, their statement. And the first thing he said is, uh, what rules did I break? Now you're lying on my name. He says, I even got teammates that was right there. Now you can follow him on Twitter at I underscore B Smith four, uh, because I don't think this thing is going to go away, uh, anytime soon. You wonder what it means for the league. Uh, sometimes they say, uh, the, any publicity is good publicity, but I'm not sure about this one. Uh, how is making the Pittsburgh organization look and what ramifications it could have on the USFL overall. There are already people weighing in, talking about I would never root for Pittsburgh. This is this is garbage, this is trash. There's a lot of different uh, takes and a lot, I mean, a lot of comments are coming in behind this one. So what do you guys think? If you've seen uh, the episode or you're following this drama, uh, what do you think about the league overall? Uh, it's, they just wrapped up their opening week. I, I enjoyed everything about it, but what do you think? Let me know in the comments.